Fuck the game, the stem, the eyes, the this, the yep. that. It's like you've taken it to another. Where did you learn that approach? Uh, I guess I learned everything from experience, yep. but um, every foundation was always built from Coach Hazel. Coach Hazel, you know, he changed my life and how he approaches the game and how he got me thinking. And and uh, so I try to do the same with these guys. Uh, I had the same approach. Hopefully, you know, he would agree. I'm trying to take it to another level. Uh, but again, combination of what Coach Hazel taught me, uh, what he taught taught Coach, you know, uh, what he taught uh, Ted Ginn and San Antonio yeah. Holmes, yeah. and you go down the list, Anthony Gonzalez, myself, and uh, and then with things I learned yeah, over the last added. ten years, and I added to it, and, and uh, so that's kind of the philosophy. Brian, what, how different does it feel to not have those three veterans right now? Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely different. I mean, that's why when they left, I like cried literally. So <laughs> um, you know, one. Uh, from a culture standpoint and a relationship standpoint, like how we've gotten to know each other. And I'm sure I'm going to do it again this year, but um, we're developing right now. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, if you try to take yourself back to where we were last spring when Dwayne was coming in and those guys were trying to enhance and come into the last year, very similar to some guys I have now, yeah. uh, I feel like we're really far ahead. We're doing a really good job. We're doing a lot of really good things, and, and we're only going to get better. So um, right now we're developing our culture in our room and seeing really who's going to step up. When I asked you about that at the Rose Bowl, you included CJ in oh, yeah. that group. What, I mean, what can you expect from him? It seems yep. like I've been talking about him for a Yeah, CJ Saunders does a phenomenal job. I mean, to me, he is a guy that I use as a, an example a lot. Um, whether it be taking tests in our room, whether it be overall effort in our room, he does a great job of just it's really hard for me to find a bad clip on film. It's really hard for me to, to find lack of effort on a test. And and, it's, and I don't try to. It's not like I'm trying to put him on a pedestal, but then I can grab his test and put it on the overhead and be like, all right, let me grab somebody else's test, and then nobody wants to put their test up there. So that's the ex expectation. Our expectation is to be different, you know, be the best in the room, be the best on the field, and all the time trying to be great. But I didn't tell guys how how hard to go all the time. And these, I can't find a, a half-speed rep for CJ Saunders on film. It's impossible. So, again, he's really doing a great job help leading the room by example. Uh, he needs some more guys to still step up and command, but we're doing a really good job. Brian, do you find this time, I feel like you were in this, well, not, maybe not even a year ago, in this interim prove yourself position, but between the way that those receivers produced last year and some of the guys you've been bringing in recruiting, I mean, do you feel like you've gotten off to the – fast start that it seems like? I just am focused on doing my part. And then what does that mean? I mean, to me, I don't just limit that maybe in my room. I love getting relationships with the DBs and the, and the D linemen and, and really getting to know everybody on the team. So that's really my only approach. Uh, I think it helps within the room, outside the room, uh, but I'm really not focused on how necessarily I'm doing per se. I'm just really worried about the guys in the room and uh, and how person maybe I can do better and how I can add more value to to our team and our staff. That's Are it. you looking for three or four starters? Are you looking at depth, all of the above? I'm not really looking at anything. I think that the film's gonna tell me what I need to to do. And in the end, I'm responsive. I'm best players play. We always know that, but truly, like best players play. And uh, and then based on what they've earned through their film, we'll just see how time goes. Understand that we're an up-tempo up offense. Yeah. So we need guys. We need depth. We're going to yeah. roll guys because in the end, we just can't play fast unless we have legs. So, uh, the, you know, the, the, the more guys, the better. And uh, again, I mean, the weakest link idea is always the case, you know. So whether you're, quote-unquote, the first guy in the room or, quote-unquote, the 15th guy in the room, everyone's going to get coached and be expected to excel at the very top. Brian, how's what's the how's Austin like responded? For, you know, finding who is going to be your main guys. Like, are you trying to figure out who your main guys are going to be by spring, or are you just no, no. trying to see right now, where everybody's yeah, at? That's it. Going right now, we're trying to get as many reps and many looks as possible, get as much good ta uh, tape on uh, uh, on film and uh, and coach off the tape. And that's the best way. That's our best coaching tool, and we try to get as much of that done as possible. But Through seven like, practices, practices, he's got your ass. Say it again. Through seven practices, who's caught your eye? I mean, who's kind of surprised? It's more for me. It's probably the most improved guys that are taking steps. It's not that, uh, you know, once you're at 99% of your capacity, getting that last 1% is really hard. You know, Austin Mack, his working on his details, it's really hard versus a guy that maybe hasn't earned uh, time yet. The really just got to get going is really making a good jump. So we have some guys like that, and we have some guys that are really, I'm really, really, again, I'm really happy with the room right now, especially effort, and today was one of our better practices. Has Wilson, has Wilson been his 
Has he taken to it like you thought he would? I mean, yeah, what's your take on him? My, my best compliment to him, I told him, I was like, you don't act like a freshman. You know, when he first okay. got in, he'll tell you, you know, it was kind of a culture change. The kids should still be in high school. And he's just doing a phenomenal job. Whether I'm throwing him at Z, at X, his mental retention's really good. Uh, he really wants to learn from the guys. He's become, he's buying into the culture. So everything he's doing right now is on the right track, and I'm excited for him to continue to take small steps. Right. That was awesome 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 responding to the end coming back. Really good. All, yeah, yeah, uh, day one of spring till now, uh, it's been a steady improvement. It's been great. Brand this setback for Cam. How, how tough is that? You guys wanted to see him out here this spring. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, because, you know, one, he's such a great guy. And, and uh, you know, you, never, you want guys to earn things. But, you know, he's, just, he's attached it the right way, whether it be the weight room or, or academics and, and uh, studying and being in my hip. And he really is a great, you know, young man from a great family. So um, if anyone can weather the storm, it's him. But uh, it is a blow to our unit because uh, uh, I think uh, he adds a lot of value to our room. Right. Yes. I mean, we all saw what Chris Olave did at the end of the season. What is the biggest thing you wanted him to improve on so far in the spring, and where is he at in that track? Oh uh, yeah, I think, you know, to me, I always talk to the guys, man. I mean, in the end, um, greatness is only measured one way, and it's by consistency. Everyone makes, and again, I say it a lot, and I'll say it to you guys, everyone makes the same shot that Michael Jordan makes. They just don't make it as consistently. They don't make it, you know, at the crunch times. You know, so everyone can do it. But the question is, how often can you do it? So challenging his consistency, challenging how dominant he can be when the ball's in the air, how often is it yours versus it being knocked down or, or you're covered. So, again, his level of consistency will change uh, whether he's a good player or he's a great player. How close is he getting to that? Is this, or is this something that's going to take a long time? It takes time? a long time. People work for years to become as consistent as possible, uh, but he's on the right track. What kind of